The sixth match on the card was Terry Taylor pinning Crusher Khrushchev. Terry Taylor. He's a good athlete. Another one you hear that cocky uh, comment about, though, sometimes, right? Yeah, that's right. He was. And he got a little feather in his cap that night, you know. And Terry, Terry, he, he just didn't have the look that he needed to be as, as uh, the wrestler he wanted to be. You know, he, he's got that real typical baby face look, man. I mean, you know. You look at this guy, really, I mean, you know, he trained and everything like that, and, and the only thing that, only thing that really shined on him was his tan. He's a Florida boy. I mean, he tried to pump his arm and everything like that, just couldn't come, just wouldn't come, come like that. But anyway, like I say, you know, he had the ability to, to uh, get by in, in, in the business, but he just wasn't that top hand potential type. Um, because of the look, kind of? Yeah, he just had a look. I mean, you know, he he has a look. <laughs> Tough kid, but just don't have it, right. you know. Wouldn't be believable to put him in the ring with yeah. a Butch Reed and say he's going to kick That's Butch Reed's been, ass. He's been in there with me before anyway, right. you know. I got a ride started with him one time. <laughs> I'll go on, I got to tell you this story. This is about the Klan. Now, anyway, Buddy was getting his butt whooped by uh, Terry in Greenwood, Mississippi. And uh, I run out there and figure that that match was up. I'm going to come back and sell it out with Terry Taylor. You know, and uh, we left him. We left him with color. We kicked him around, walked out of there, black man and white man, and beat up poor little white man in the, in the ring. And, uh, in Mississippi, no in less. In Mississippi, Greenwood. And, uh, anyway, uh, after, we, after we went in and I was, I was ready to go, Buddy was getting shot up quick. We had a knock on the door. But Reed, we want to talk to you. Come on out here. You want to talk to me about what? You talk to me. You talk to me with in my office hours because I do not talk when I'm ready to go home and my my work is done. Who's Come asking to talk? Here. Who's asking to talk to you? Well, it's a Klansman was asking me this. Okay? Come on out here. We just want to talk, but man, you just better go on out here to go home. <laughs> Don't bother me now. <laughs> My office is closed. So anyway, he come in and I put him out. I said, don't come back in here. So we come back in there, long story short, he just got he just got bounced around the locker room. And that's pretty that's a pretty hard place to get bounced around in. And I bounced him on out the door. Okay, so all right, that's over. He's pretty well ripped up. He he was gonna take a few bruises and some blood clots on. I told him not to come in here. So now I'm sitting back here waiting on the clan to come on in the door. And when they do, they're going to meet my little friend. His name's Smith Wesson. He's on his 44 frame. Ernie Lad, he's scared to death. Uh, Terry Taylor, he done went on out the back door. <laughs> I mean, not Terry, but <laughs> buddy, he's gone. He's done it. Oh, deserted me. So anyway, there's a knock on the door, and uh, okay, who is it now? I'm sitting there dripping, sweat, in this Mississippi heat, <laughs> in a bad place. All right, come on in. It's uh, Mr. Reed. We just want to talk to you. It's a uh, Greenwood County Sheriff. Okay. Well, come on in, guys. I took my, yeah. I took my Roscoe back up. Said, Mr. Reed, we know this guy. He's blah, 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 so, so, so. This guy gave me a card. He'd give me a card before this went down of uh, my name is so-and-so, and I'm a member of the KKK, and welcome to Greenwood. he gave it to me. That's why I bounced him around the room. And uh, 
So anyway, make this long story short again, the sheriffs were salt and pepper, the deputies. They wanted to get me escorted to the, to the end of the county line, which is the next county going, going out of here. And I had a girl with me, and, and I wanted to get her home anyway. I told them I'm going to Greenville. Well, we need to give you an okay, escort to the county line. Why? He said, well, they know his kind well. He'll know my kind if he tries to meet me out there on that road somewhere. So anyway, I'll let them, yeah, go ahead, give me an escort on, on to the county line. I thought that was very good. And it was a, it was a compelling situation to me. You know, I was, I was nervous and on my P's and Q's. Because you don't know what might be waiting out there in that, in that dark yeah, sure. territory. You know what yeah. I mean? This guy, he done already got, he already got lit up by me. So you know he's embarrassed and everything. Sheriff's done run him off. Right. But they made sure I had safe conduct to the county, you know. Uh, that'll, te it. that'll teach you for whooping on Terry Taylor. Yeah, leaving him in a bloody mess out there in the ring. That ain't no, it was all good.